Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Giulia Reggi, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Trieste. Today, I will show you some results about our study based on the estimation of the surface deformation in Northeast Italy by using geodetic data. Northeast Italy is an area characterized by an active convergent regime. Adria is moving in north-northwest direction towards Eurasia at a rate of convergence of about 2 mm per year. The deformation is accommodated by southeastern Alps and Dinarides, mainly characterized by the presence of thrusts and strike slip folds. The aim of the present study is to estimate the surface deformation of the area in relation to the active tectonic processes in order to obtain useful information about seismogenic faults. For that reason, we process more than 400 SAR images acquired by Sentinel-1 AB satellites along ascending and descending tracks, as you can see here, starting from 2015 to 2019. We also exploited the presence of a GNSS station in the area, in this case in a fixed reference frame. For SAR processing, we use a persistent scatterer interferometry technique. In particular, we use the scripts provided by snap to stamps based on SNAP software and stamps. So after the interferometric processing, we applied some special temporal filters and we also performed a calibration um, by using GNSS data. In particular, we projected their velocity along line of sight and then we estimated an offset and a linear ramp in order to remove the orbital ramps and the residual atmospheric effect. At the end, we obtained two calibrated loss velocity maps in ascending and descending tracks and after the decomposition, other two. Uh, velocity maps in east-west and vertical directions. Here we are the results for uh, the ascending dataset. In this case we have a map showing the uh, deformation with respect to the satellite, so a long line of sight, and on the right we have a plot showing the uh, comparison between SAR and GNSS velocity after the, uh, the calibration. We obtain a um, similar product for the descending uh, data set. So again, uh, the comparison between the SAR and GNSS velocity, as you can see, a general good agreement. And on the left, uh, the map showing the displacement in line of sight. Here we have the first uh, result after the decomposition, a map in east-west uh, uh, direction. Um, in this case, we have these lines showing the um, seismogenic uh, faults taken from the European database, and the black arrows showing the east-west um, velocity according to GNSS station. In this case, we notice this signal around Udine. The area is moving towards west uh, with a rate of about 1. 0.5 mm per year. There are also other signals, in particular this one, in the opposite direction. And here again the plot uh, um, between SAR and GNSS velocities. For the vertical map, uh, again uh, the agreement, good agreement uh, between geodetic data, and in particular uh, on the map we observe two deformation patterns. The first one here with a negative sign, uh, maybe uh, related to um, subsidence and compaction of sediment. And the second one here, towards Alp, this uplift reaching about 2 mm per year, a uh, really interesting uh, signal. So, uh, to conclude, uh, we obtain interesting results in the area of interest in Northeast Italy, now, in our future work, uh, we want to analyze and model this uh, signal, considering the tectonic context of the area. Thank you for the attention.